Okay, so I've cleared this little space, mostly. I still need to get those twiggies out of the way so that I can start pondering doing cement work over there. I'm gonna leave a strip of soil so I can have a veggie garden here, but probably one third is gonna have to be cemented because there needs to be stairs coming down and they want to land on cement and stones and not on soil. Yeah, and then the rest will be cemented as well, all around there, cement, cement, cement. And when I say cement, I mean patio tile cement, like they'll be with these stones. It's gonna be pretty nice, I think. Um, these stones are really nice. They're a little bit shiny here and there natural stones yeah it's gonna be a nice natural feel and they'll be all over the patio so i think the patio is gonna initially be from that wall over there right up to this corner here and then just going well it'll end with the veggie bed and then go down to the steps over here up to that corner over there and then I think I've got more stones than that I have to somehow estimate how much ground these stones are gonna cover probably I'll probably be able to cover more than this strip I think I'll probably make a line with that corner there and just go straight across with the stones and the cement I uh, have this little walkway cover all of this area here, stones and cement, from the corner of that step up to the corner of the veggie bed over there. Um, and then I'll still have some stones left over. I don't know if it would be enough to be able to do this entire pathway all the way down. Uh, very unlikely, very, very unlikely. But perhaps I could do this little pathway. That might be nice to redo. Yeah, so I think I'll do this little area, that stretch, that patio over there, and just keep this one as is for now, I guess, and figure that out later on. Yeah, I think that's a pretty decent plan. You can see there's a hole in the wall that also needs fixing, that needs cleaning. <laughs> yeah, so lots of little bits and bobs to do, but that's pretty easy. I just need some chicken wire and lime cement to fix that hole. Yeah, pretty good. I'm just checking in with the plants and here's a chili coming up. I love it when they are two-tone like that. Look at that. It's red going on green or green going on red with a bit of orange in the middle. That's really beautiful. Oh, I hope it's clear enough on the video. It's always a little challenging with wind to get things in focus. Yeah. And here we've got some tomatoes coming up. It's not quite there yet. I think they're all going to be ripe exactly at the same time. <laughs> That's going to be pretty hilarious. There's some more coming up. Wow, so many. So, so, so many. I love this little forest area here. It's one of my favorite little spaces right now. Aren't those leaves beautiful? Butternut leaves. Butternut. Let's see if we can focus. You know, I harvested most of this parsley yesterday and look at this that is incredible still so much okay i can get a better picture from the side yeah that's beautiful look at that beautiful chili wow pretty yeah otherwise mostly same same this one has got a couple going on here Pretty sure these are chilies. There's a lot of them actually. There's one, two, three. I count around six. I think I've got six here. There's one at the back there as well. Very nice. Here's some more tomatoes coming up. Back there, some more. And over here, some more. Yeah, very nice. All of them coming up together. Oh, I'm looking forward to these plum tomatoes. Wow. Those are going to be good.
these little things are drying quite nicely. Looks quite dry already. And basil, they've shrunken quite a lot. <clears throat> but yeah, they still need a day or two. Probably three. This one hasn't changed much. The purslane is uh, <laughs> full of water and it doesn't look like it's evaporating. Hmm, so yeah, I don't know. This is just an experiment anyway. Let's see what happens there. And here's the other plant. This plant that I don't know the name of. <laughs> Bit of a mystery. So, yeah, also looking pretty good. Of course, we want them to be extremely dry. Extremely dry. A little wasp. Insect. I don't think it's a wasp, it's just a small little insect. And here are some beautiful chilies. I love the color of the chilies. <laughs> I don't actually eat that many chilies. Once in a while I do, but not that much. But I do love the color. The cosmos is really coming up. It's quite a few flowers. It's quite beautiful. I really love my straw <laughs> flower bed. It's not really a flower bed, veggie bed maybe. Right now it's just straw, but next year it'll be a veggie bed and flower bed. I'm gonna put them all together. Rosemary's doing great. And the straw field is also doing okay. These gem squash are very happy. That one at the, the back looks a little bit droopy and sad, and so does this one, because they get hit by the sun for a very intense moment and then they feel a bit sorry for themselves <laughs> but then once the sun moves then they poke back up again and feel better so i've observed that over the last couple of days and yeah they do quite well i've just processed a couple of these bigger branches into smaller branches <laughs> so these are going to be the fire starters which are always useful very happy with that I've put all the greenery into the wheelbarrow, I'm going to put that in the other grassy area on the garden. These will need an axe or something, chop them up, and I still got to go and get those. So we've got parsley with cat flavor. <laughs> Smudgy is obviously helping the parsley dry. Thank you, Smudgy. <laughs> Doing a really good job. So now a cat parsley cat bed. <laughs> oh dear. Look at this parsley. Hello parsley. You okay? It's very squashed. Very squashed. <laughs> Little Bailey. Surprise! Smudgy is on the wood burner again. Apparently this is comfortable. This is a good cat bed. Hmm, interesting. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. The button should be there, there, somewhere over here. <laughs>